Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. We are now a couple of weeks into the great NHL season, and this is going to be my team outlook for the Vegas Golden Knights since I was not able to get in a team preview before the season for them scheduling-wise. So now we'll do a team outlook for them. Well, the outlook is looking very bright for the Golden Knights. They started the season 4-1-0 and oh, and have the best start tied with the Minnesota Wild, who have the same exact record and are one of the surprise teams in hockey thus far early on. Uh, the Vegas Golden Knights have been getting great play from the first line of Marchessault, Carlson, and Smith. Uh, Marchessault has been one of the best players to start the season in four points uh, in five games. And then Riley Smith has three points in five games, potted two goals already. And William Carlson's being a nice facilitator and both ends player on that line as well. Uh, Max Pacioretty has been owning it this year, four points himself in five games, and then you cannot stop Mark Stone, the newly named captain, has been on fire, he has been in fuego this year, he has six assists already to go with two goals for about 18 minutes of ice time and eight points already, so this dude is on a whole mission this year, and so is Tuck, uh, all their key players, Cody Glass is looking good, two points in three games, all the key people you want to look good for this team are looking good. And then even Keegan Colasar has come in in some games. He's only been able to pop one point so far in a couple minutes of ice time as an extra forward sometimes. But when he's been out there for a few minutes, in my opinion, from watching, he's looked pretty solid himself. So all in all, most of this team is really falling together. We know Ryan Reeves is a fan favorite, one of the best players to watch out there. He pops some goals. Great guy to have for the playoffs. Very physical, very aggressive. Will never back down from standing up for his teammate. Great guy to have. One of the best guys to have on your team. And then their defense. Their defense is something that everybody was wondering with Petrangelo and not carrying as many defensemen. Uh, how the defense would be, but it has looked good. Zach Whitecloud has proven that he's definitely a very, very capable NHL defenseman, now getting over 20 minutes a night with their shortened defense. McNabb is obviously still proving he's one of the more underrated defensemen, and then P Petrangelo's just a tank. I mean, the dude's one of the best in the game. He's been for a while. It was a great pickup. Yeah, you had to finagle the cap and do all these stuff, but it's good to be worth it for Petrangelo if this team keeps riding and riding their hot streak like they are now. I mean, this team, the way they're playing and the way they have their great goaltending tandem, of which Flurry actually has started off a little bit better early on uh, than Leonard, who has a 899 save, but Leonard's also been hung out to dry on some plays, and I don't think has looked bad and will look really good very soon. Sometimes you just got to get going for a couple of weeks before you really hit your complete stride, but he's looked fairly solid overall with a 2-1 and one record to start the year. Uh, I think this team is definitely going on to do some great things. Uh, this is going to be the team, the Vegas Golden Knights, that are competing with the Colorado Avalanche for that top of the division spot. And I think they definitely are going to have a chance to get it. I had personally, at the start of the season, I had the Colorado Avalanche um, beating the Vegas Golden Knights um, in the division at the start where I still see that most likely happening just because of the way all rosters are played out and the abs are still getting into their groove, and I feel like they might trade for a goaltender at some point, which would also really make them a much tougher team to beat. But I feel like the abs will come in first. Vegas will be in the very close second, but just with Colorado, they're going to be one of the biggest teams as Stanley Cup contenders coming into the playoffs. This team is riding strong. This team is off to the start you want. They're off to a very, very satisfying start and not one of the good teams that's off to a disappointing start, and that's great to see for their fans and great to see for Vegas. They have not been a bad team yet since coming into the league. That's a great accomplishment for them, and that's something that deserves to be celebrated. The Vegas Golden Knights, again, are going to be one of the best teams in hockey this year and be one of the Stanley Cup contenders. This has been a team outlook for the Vegas Golden Knights. Everybody have a safe, pleasant day. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borg. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell. It is very appreciated and helps. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy the hockey, and peace out.